Hey guys, shooting for fun here. Hey, uh, today we want to do something a little different here. Um, we're going to show you guys if you want to how to get creative there a little bit. Um, going to show you how we're going to outline to make our own uh, holster out of leather. And uh, what you have to do is you have to start out with like a basic pattern. Um, you can buy these in the stores. You can get them off the internet. I'm um, getting for specific kind of guns. Um, the one I'm going to try to make uh, is going to fit a Smith and Wesson 9 shield, um, which will also fit the 45 shield and several of the other uh, similar sized guns as well. So I've got a about a half a pattern here of a layout that I've sketched, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you build that into a full pattern. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to end up tracing this. So I want it to be a little darker. So I'm going to just trace the outline. Using a uh, Sharpie. Like I said, I'm no... Uh, No art major here, so I just try to trace the line the best you can. Um, I used another pattern for this, so it's going to actually be a little bit bigger. So when I go to, to set this up and, and cut it down, it's, it's probably going to match up pretty good. Now what I use here is I use a legal pad. And I'll just turn it to a, an empty spot here. And I'm going to line this up on the paper. Now what I may do is because this is going to kind of uh, come and fold over. I think what I'm going to have to do is cut part of this side off. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grab my scissors here real quick. And we're going to cut this one side down a little bit. Just so it'll sit in a little closer to the, the frame there. So we get it set up in there. To draw this. Now you can cut these out by hand if you wanted to and then we're going to lay the paper over it. And you can see we can see the outline up underneath of that and we're just going to trace that outline. And I'm going to use the pen first just to uh, Get a good reference here. Now I may not have a uh, yeah, I'll my paper. Um, one of the other things you can do is you can actually tape this down. That way your uh, your paper won't be moving on you as much. Okay. Like I said, once you get this traced out, uh, when you trace your leather there, you can always trim your leather there for a little better fit. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is because this has got to come over to the other side, and we're going to use one solid piece of leather, so it's going to have to fold over and wrap. So we want to leave a little more space here for that wrap over. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it, turn our pattern over. And I'm hoping you can see this here. And 
basically I'm going to mark there where that is. And we're going to give it a little space there to, to mark it over. And hopefully when we get done here, these two halves will actually line up. Okay, now that's going to fold, so it's going to fold in half, so hopefully that's about right there. We're just kind of eyeballing it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trace down. there I'm just doing a quick guessing here of our spots Okay, then we got a little, a little hump here and there, okay. Okay, so now, if you can see that there, we've got a whole pattern here on our paper. And basically what this is going to do is we're going to take this out. And when we cut it out of our leather, we're going to take it. And it's going to fold over like that. Okay? So that this part, um, actually, this one high part there on the whichever side is going to be the end. You can make this if you cut it this way, or you can cut it that way, and you can make it either a left or a right handed hoster. Okay? So, what we're going to do is because one of these little humps is going to come off, we're just going to come up and round it off here and you're only going to have the hump on the one on the inside part okay so if we were taking a uh, our gun here we were putting it down in there you know this would be the top where our gun would go and then we're going to stitch around here on the bottom just to uh, fix that in there and like I said we're going to cut around and uh, we're going to show you more when we get to the leather part there, but that part's going to fold. And, uh, like I said, one side, depending upon whether you want it to be left-handed or right-handed, we're just going to round that little nub off, so it's only a nub on the one side. And then we're going to attach our uh, clip or hook here to uh, where we can hook it onto our belt loop. And then we're going to fold it and we're going to stitch it. And before we do that, any pattern that you want to put on it, we're going to stamp or, you know, design any pattern that we're going to put on it. So, we're going to break this video down into little sections. Just for the ease of, uh, you know, the recording and the building of it there. Um, and then we'll probably either make a couple of different videos or just splice it all together for one big video there. But this is how we get started. You start out with a basic pattern. You trace it out. Um, what I do is I moisten the leather. The next step is going to be imprinting the design onto the leather. Um, you're going to moisten your leather. You're going to lay this down on there. You're going to take a pin. You're going to trace it. And it's going to put a little imprint into the leather. And then we're going to take our scissors. Or you can take a, a knife, an X-Acto knife or something like that. And we're going to cut out our pattern here. Okay. And then once you get the rough cut there, like I said, once you get it uh, trimmed up the way you want it, you can trim the edges and stuff and uh, get it that way. And then we're going to stamp our holes there for uh, the lacing and, and uh, you know, get it ready to do our pattern there. All right, guys. That's it for now. We're going to come back with part two there, showing you how to set up the leather on it. Right, where I'm shooting for fun. Thanks for watching, guys.
Hey guys, shooting for fun here. Hey, uh, we're continuing on with our little uh, leather project here. We're going to make a holster. Um, we've got a uh, piece of leather cut out here. We've got our pattern that we've already uh, set up from the last little video there. So we're going to wet this down so we can trace our pattern on here. What you do is, you've noticed the color darkened in there a little bit. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pattern here. We've got our leather set up here. We're going to put our pattern up over our leather. You want to make sure that you set it up to where you get the whole design onto your leather there. Alright, looks like we're going to be pretty good here. And then what we do is we just trace around this. And you want to push down just a little bit harder because you are wanting to make an impression into that leather. Okay, and we'll just kind of trace it around. You don't have to be completely neat in every, in every way there, but you want to just get it traced out good. Because once you make your cut, you can cut it out and make your cuts more precise. And then once we get it set up there to uh, to get sewed together there we're going to make sure that we have our uh, lines all trimmed up and everything so that it's going to line up well before we start punching our holes there Okay, so if you notice here, we kind of cut and kind of looped around here a little bit. We took off, we didn't do this portion here. Because remember we said we're going to uh, be folding this over. So one side's going to be the front, one's going to be like the back side. And depending upon which one of these you use, whether it's a left-handed or a right-handed holster. We're going to want it to be a right-handed holster, which means it's going to be folded over like this. Okay, This being our back side over here. Okay, now if you notice our paper here, we got a nice little implant here of our pattern. Then we can just take that and just trace over it, draw it in a little better. And once you don't have that extra paper on there, it's a lot easier. You can press down a little harder to imprint your design in there a little bit. Like I said, the reason why we're splitting these videos up a little bit because it does make for one long video. So we're probably going to take a couple of these videos and end up splicing them together there just to make it a little easier there. But we're going to probably do it in sessions there because... We don't want it to be so long that you lose interest in it, you know. Alright. And notice there you can see where this part's starting to uh, lighten up a little bit. This one's a little lighter. This one's still kind of dark. It's just however much it absorbs the water there. And uh, now we've got our pattern in there, so we're going to let this guy dry out. And if you can see, when you fold that over, you know, this is going to be your back side that you're going to have against you, and this is going to be the front side where your gun's going to go in this way. Okay. 
And once we get the initial cut going here, we may have to do a little, little more trimming just to trim it up to maybe bring this down maybe a little more just to give it a little more cut out for your gun there to, to go in to, to fit better. Okay. So this is our basic pattern that we're going to start with. Uh, when we come back, once this is dried out there, we don't want to cut it while it's wet there. We're just going to uh, use some scissors there to cut it. And uh, we're going to let this dry out. We're going to come back and cut out our pattern. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, shooting for fun here. We're back with our little leather holster project here. And uh, our, our leather's pretty much dried out for the most part there. So we're going to go ahead. We got our handy dandy scissors there. We're going to try to go ahead and cut this out. Now, usually, where I like to start is on a thin piece there, and you just kind of. I do short little pieces at a time. That way, you can guide your. Scissors a little better rather than trying to do great big cuts all at once. A lot easier with the scissors than it is to try to exacto knife this thing. And it makes it a lot easier for trimming up later on down the line. Okay. So just keep on going. Slow and steady wins the race there, especially with leather because Leather is not really a forgiving uh, material there. You make a miscut, you know, you pretty much have to, or you make a mispunch or a misstep on it, and you pretty much have to scrap it and start over. So we're not on a, an assembly line here. We're not making these for production. Just making them for ourselves here, so we're just gonna take our time, make sure we do a good job there. All right, and there we have our basic leather pattern. And what that's gonna look like is it's gonna fold over like this. Okay, it's gonna be sewn along this edge here. Your gun is going to go in there like this, right, to fit your gun in there. And then there's going to be like a little uh, kind of an L shape right here, stitching besides, you know, what's going around to hold it, the side part in. There's going to be like a little L stitching there just to tighten up where the front end, where the gun's going to go before it gets to the trigger. They make like a little stopping point there for the, for the gun. Okay, because you don't want your gun sliding all the way down the bottom there. Okay, and then what you can do is once you start folding over there, you can see where we're going to be uh, stitching up and things like that. And you can see some of the leather might not overlap all the way. Um, like I said, we may, once we get our gun and we're going to try to fit our gun into it, we may want to cut this down maybe a little bit more, maybe cut it down through here. You know, give it a little lower, something like maybe going like this and coming down, you know, instead of being way up here like this, you know, maybe a little, little smaller cuts there to make the gun fit a little better, okay? And then if there's any overlaps there, we're going to trim them up. And uh, we got a little back piece that we're going to put on here, so we're going to... We can either uh, sew or stitch it on. This is going to be for our loop for our uh, belt hook there. And uh, that's pretty much how we get when we get started there. And uh, we're going to...
welcome back. We're going to get our gun and we're going to see how it fits and uh, see where we need to make some adjustments and things and we'll go from there. Like I said, by this, once you get it done, you know, it's just kind of eyeballing. You start out with a basic pattern. Um, you get it trimmed in and, and honed in to, to the fit for the gun and stuff. And then once you get that done, then what you do is you take your paper, right? Well, actually a new sheet of paper, right? And you can trace along this. And then once you get done, you'll have a more accurate finish pattern that you can use. Okay? And that way the next time if you're going to make another one of these, say for a different gun you have, you've got a more basic pattern there. Now you can extend out like we did right here. We started out with our little short pattern that we just traced. And then we had we lift it over to do our backside over here and then we spaced it out a little bit just to give it because it is for you know a little bigger gun if you're doing a, a smaller gun you know you can put that little you can narrow this margin down uh, you could actually extend it out you know for whatever size gun you want to use and like I said we may end up trimming this edge down a little bit making it come down a little farther making this loop down maybe a little farther here like that just for the contour of our gun there a little bit better okay so this is where we're at so far so stay tuned there we're gonna keep on going until we get a finished product I'm shooting for fun guys thanks for watching